Hi there, I want to share an inspirational story that hit me today, you know, right here in my heart. And um, yeah, so anyways, if you guys don't know me, I am Caleb. I have created a Java series that's gone like mini viral, at least in my opinion, like this is my most popular series and people are loving it. But I decided I am actually going to do another series on Java with a completely different style. Now it's still gonna be me and I'm still gonna be teaching so you're still gonna get that same experience but I want this to be a hands-on Java series where the intention is that you guys follow along with the coding. So basically a lot less editing. When I'm typing out, you're typing out. So there might be sections where there's 10, 20 seconds of silence where I'm typing something out intending that you are following along. And let me just share a little bit about the reason why I want to do this. Well, I was watching some YouTube and I was watching someone's videos, their older videos, and they were inspirational to me because this person expressed himself without a bunch of camera cuts and not worrying about cutting out every single piece where there might be three seconds of silence. And this person was not worried about making everybody happy, just giving a, a nutshell of content. Rather, he was worried about presenting the content in a good way and giving those breaks for people to mentally process things or to write things down. And it became more about the content of the video rather than the editing. And as a result, the videos did really well. People really liked them. They were easy to follow. That's because all he really did was turn on a camera, and explain some concept for 10 minutes, 15 minutes sometimes, and it, it really caught on. And then I went and watched some of his newer stuff. And these videos weren't bad, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but th there was definitely something different about them where he would stutter, say something, and he would end up cutting sections out or making it basically look too polished. And I guess this might be a good thing if you're going for like a really professional video for a professional course or whatever, but you guys know my content and that's not what I wanna do. I don't want to have professional content. I want to make mistakes. I want to stutter on camera and not have to feel like I need to cut it out or edit it out. And I ultimately just want people to be able to follow along with these videos the best they can. I think the Java series I did is great and I think people are going to get a lot from it. But I feel like there's a great need for a micro series. So what I'm thinking is 30 days where you and I sit down on a computer and type out some Java. There's still gonna be prep on my part, but I'm going to try to basically make it a longer extended video where there's not 50,000 cuts and then I say I'm gonna type this out and boom it appears and no one showed how or showed the process of typing that out. Now the real thing here though is that this channel I was watching was actually my own. I was watching my old database design videos on my chalkboard and they just brought happiness to me because the, the person that was being expressed obviously was interested in the subject and obviously he knew what he was talking about and he was handsome and all those things. But the way he presented was, was full of life and it still expressed his person which was very calm and comedic. <laughs> At least I'd like to believe so. Then I've been watching some of my newer stuff and I feel like some of that has been lost in the, the attempt to make my content better. I've actually sacrificed the thing that makes it unique. So I think there's definitely a place for both styles of content. You know, the kind where it's just showing how something works and it's intended for someone to watch. And then there's the type of content that is intended for people to follow along with. And I am going to attempt to, to blend the two in a series where every single day this month, I'm gonna be releasing a Java hands-on guide on something and essentially we're going to go through some of the material of that 100 part java series but we're going to take it much slower by typing it out ourselves going through different examples and trying to piece something awesome so if this is something you guys are interested in please hit subscribe but also hit that notification button and check back every day at hmm, let's go 8 a.m 
Eastern time, yes. It's official, I have to get it done today by 8 a.m. All right, so that's the time it's going to be every single day this month, the entire month of October. So whatever you, whatever you wanna call this month, I mean, I know there's like Hacktober and there's other things that people do in October, but mine's just gonna be Java-tober because I literally just thought of that. So are you guys ready for Java-tober? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds so stupid. So is this going to be like a live stream, something you would get on Twitch? No, this is not my goal. I'm not intending on just doing two hour coding live streams where you watch me debug every little thing and do every single step. That is not what I think is going to give you guys the most value, at least for the type of content I want to share on my channel. But rather, I'm going to, you know, prepare the content I'm going to be talking about and try to present that in a more natural way. And ultimately, I want to improve my ability to communicate concepts without having to stop every two sentences. So hopefully you guys get the point. On top of this, I have two styles of content here on this channel. One on a chalkboard, much bigger than this one usually, but another style is on the screen and occasionally I'll mend the two in one video. And I ultimately think this is the best way to present content. So it goes back and forth from me to something shown on screen. So that way I don't have to go talk about a concept and then repeat that concept in code in two separate videos. I can just do it in one video and explain it as we're going by talking to you guys face to camera. So because this series has not been planned out yet, this is your opportunity to leave a comment saying what specific content you would like to see in this Java-tober. <laughs> and if there is any issues that you've had with the Java series that you were not able to get addressed, leave them in the comment section below because I'm going to be going through these and seeing if it's something I could do a video on for this month. Now, I did want to mention that Totally just forgot what I was gonna say, dang it. Oh yes, the original idea is that I'm going to go through the content of the series, but depending on how long it takes me to go through this stuff and how long each video is and how quickly you guys are consuming the content, I might get into a larger variety of topics. So going into graphical user interface development with Java, that is something on my list of interests to talk about. Maybe some Java web development and just more Java development versus concept. So hopefully we can kind of build some small scale projects, maybe one large scale project. I really don't know where things are gonna go, but I really want to start looking at the bigger picture. And basically I want this to be your opportunity to say, I commit, I am going to code every single day for at least a month. After that, you guys are free to go, but give it a month. So many people will do a day or two or three days. They'll burn out and they'll quit which is why my first Java video has 100,000 views and then my second one has half that and then it just halves every single video after that. I mean, literally video 100 has like a half of a view. I mean, it's crazy. So maybe it's my content. I don't really think that's the case because I think the content is good. Rather, I think it's people don't have a plan and they don't have a level of commitment to finishing some series. So for this month alone, just commit every single morning or whatever time zone you're in, you're gonna get up and watch an episode of Javatober <laughs> and step up your coding skills and hopefully by the end of the month you are a better developer. Are you going to be the master developer coding your own languages and taking over the internet? Probably not, but you can probably step up your skills a lot and I imagine just in a month, you'll look back and realize, wow, I've learned a lot of information. And it's not so much that I'm imputing that master knowledge into your brain, but rather just the practice of you coding things out will help you go through the syntax and the, the structure of programs and it'll help iron out the kinks in your knowledge. So this isn't about me teaching you, this is about you building experience and teaching yourself by being hands-on with the code every single day. Now a lot of people do things like 100 days of code and this one I specifically want it to be 30 just because I want it to be more consumable. It doesn't have to be a very large commitment. 
but I'm not saying for a guarantee I'm going to stop at 30 days. We're going to see how the series goes, if there's really good feedback and I feel like it's a good way for me to express myself, then I am going to consider continuing this series until indefinitely. Maybe we can just cover all kinds of different things. I actually have some ideas for stuff I want to do in November and December, so maybe we'll just do different kinds of languages or different technologies each month of the year and see how things go. But a video a day is going to be quite a lot for me, so it would really mean a lot if you guys subscribed and clicked like on the videos just to know that people are watching them and enjoying them and appreciating them. It makes my time feel valuable. It also tells the YouTube algorithm that it should care about me, which ultimately tells other people to watch my videos. And it 